Hello and welcome to a new video about controlling my WS2812B ring here. Yeah? And last time we implemented NQDT possibility in our controller here. And today I wanted to show you what an, an, an tool, yeah? so it's called NQDT dash, yeah? and how to use this to control stuff here. Yeah? So if you open this MQDT dash, yeah, then you can you can put on different different MQDT uh, servers. Yeah? Here MQDT to house at home. This is my MQDT server. You with plus here you can add a server, you can add an address, you can add a port and so on, a username, password, MQDT broker, that's it. Yeah. I also added it, I already added it, not also, of course also, but I already added it, I call it MQDT at home, MQDT zu Hause, this one, yeah. and this now is how it looks, yeah. it's looking empty, right? So I can add here with this plus here, I can add a new control and there we have a text with a switch we have and we have a color so I am choosing color okay and the name is I will call it LED color L E D color and the topic uh, The topic I will call a uh, LED slash color. Color. This is my topic. Yeah. Enable publishing. Yes. Keep it. topic publishing. Keep empty if you use the same as sub. So I'm subscribing LED color. Yeah, topic sub it's written here and topic publish I am using the same yeah? and payload format hex string I don't know what this means actually I will just use standard yeah and the icon yeah. okay yeah I use this icon yeah. Quality of service zero is for is okay for me. Uh, okay, and I will save this. Now I have this LED color here, all right. And if I'm here, also running my program over here, <laughs> so the controller. So actually, if I change this LED color yeah, to I don't know some red and press OK. Then we should receive something. No. Yeah, of course. Huh? Here I've written LEDs color and here I've written edit. Here I've written LED color. So I have not subscribed this here. So I will subscribe LEDs color. Change. Change the, the topic name. Yeah, save. Yeah. And now let's see. Change it. Ah, uh, now I have received it. You see, I'm using my handheld device here. Yeah. Let's use white. Yeah. Book. Yeah. I'm using my handheld device, sending the color code to the MQTT broker. I have subscribed the same topic as I'm publishing here and I'm receiving it. This is the reason because the, the, the subscription was simply too wrong. I've published a topic which I've not subscribed. So now this fits together yeah, and I'm fine. Let's see green, some green. Okay, and here this is actually what we're receiving. You see, it's zero B F F zero zero. 
This is this is the R value. Yeah? This is the green value, and this is the blue value, RGB. Yeah? And here in white, it's FF, FF, FF. This is hexadecimal format. FF means 255, so full byte, full of ones. It's it's actually three bytes. Yeah? Let's see what is happening if we change this to numeric string. Yeah? Save this. How is then this looking like? It's not looking. Oh, okay. Let's see what, how is white looking. Then we can determine. Ooh, yeah. Okay. 60 million colors. This is what you can achieve with this. Yeah. So actually, mm, I like. I don't like this. I like the. I like the hex string more. Huh? Save. Maybe I use another icon. Which one do I like? This one. That looks nice. Save. LED color. Yes, looks better. Okay, and now the only thing which we have to do is to, to somehow analyze the data we're receiving, yeah, so that we can really use R, G, B values for our ring, and then we should already have solved it. Then we can select the color of the ring, yeah, and Right. And then we can select the color of the ring and we have a remote control just with our handheld device with a proper with a proper application and we interpreting the, the app's data sent to MQTT here. This interpreting this data, this will then be in the next video, right? So right now we managed to get information from here, which is reflecting of course the color. Let's see, blue, yes, blue is higher now, which is reflecting the color I've selected here to my controller. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and next time then, we are going to slice this, this data into different things yeah? and, and use the RGB values and use it exactly exactly like before, but now remote controlled. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.